borrowed truck, a borrowed trailer, but hopefully finding my project that that Hemi's going to go into one day. Uh, see how this goes. I have a junk tire pile in the back, so I gotta go get some tires because the Model A didn't come with any. So this is what I bought. I'm not exactly sure if it's 28 or 29. Uh, Model A. It's a five window special coupe. So what that really means is there's a bunch of work to do because there was some wood in these cabs. Uh, what I gotta do is mock this up yet and you get an idea of what it is. But uh, technically, it had the steel roof. Uh, obviously he got a new, a different rear section because it would have been wood in the middle. Would have had the coupe sides. Uh, I think wood around here, if I'm right. I don't remember now. There was, I know there was wood here and then there was some weird stuff about it, but uh, regardless, it's a coupe. I've been looking for one for a long time. Uh, yeah, let's kind of mock this thing up and see what it looks like together. Okay, next day, <clears throat> decide to go cruising. So, let's puzzle some of this stuff together and see what she looks like.
So it's starting to look like something. There's an insane amount of work yet that needs to be done, but uh, like door fitment, not great. This is the only problem with these uh, special coupes. I can't remember on a coupe if there's a body line here or not. I think there is, because there would have been a trim that probably nailed onto that. But you can see, because there's no more wood, we end up with this huge gap. And then, like I say, they would have had a wooden frame, so this clearly must have got this from a sedan or something, which is super cool. So at least I have the back window. But uh, it's got to get trimmed into place. So he started a structure inside to hold stuff, which is good. Uh, but these pieces have to get trimmed up so I can get it uh, zapped in. These are going to need filler pieces or I'm going to bead roll something. I don't know yet. That'll be hard to bead roll and transition around there, but eh, we'll figure something out. Yeah. Don't have a header panel. He did have this, but he thought it was from a Chevy or something. He was going to widen up. I'm going to go see if any of my junk, I have some stuff lying around. And these pieces are pretty, pretty hammered, but at least they're there. I mean, it's, it looks more like a coupe now anyways. Yeah. The plan is, I don't plan on using this frame, but I have my T outside. Uh, I think it'd be a good frame for that. I'm not a fan of this style of suspension, like I'd want to flip it under. So I'd probably redo the front horns, but the uh, the back's coil over, not coil overs, coils with a pan hard. A few things I'd change again, but whatever. It's a good start, stuff's there. I would like to put this car on some uh, 32 rails, that's my plan. And get this as a power plant so i don't have 32 rails so i'm still on the hunt for that uh i know a buddy of mine that probably has some that i can just borrow to mock up i have a 40s uh ford frame which i think it's pretty close to the 32s um so i can try to mirror in the body line that the that not the body line that dimple that's in the frame rail i could try to mirror that into the other chassis but we'll see this is kind of a project down the road um i think next week i'm going to start gathering out bits for this project uh, my old international I'm trying to do my big diesel diesel crew cab that's the plan these are the wheels for it So yeah, I don't know much more I'm going to get. So I have this. I'll probably trim up this back window, get it to fit. This is a rumble seat car, but I don't think there'll be any space or that won't even make sense. So I'll probably just save the hinges and I'll probably hinge it up on top and just do a normal trunk with it. Definitely needs a haircut, but <clears throat> it needs all of the stuff fixed and structure all made first. Yeah, so I'm gonna muck with it some more. Again, this is a this is a down the road project, but when you find them, you kind of have to grab them. It's kind of the way it is. These cars are not very affordable anymore. Not around here, anyways. This style of car. But there was a lot of value in it because it had this set up in the front. It's like a T-bucket setup, but. It's got disc brakes and drop axle and all that jazz, so I can show you guys the car I'd want to use this chassis with. So I picked this one up a while ago. I'm thinking it's a few years ago now. But ever since I cut up that one on the shop, on my wall there, I wanted to build one like that, so. This is the, the body that that chassis is gonna get put underneath. That is the plan, at some point, I don't know. I might just, scab it together just so it's a roller and then figure it out from there once I get the other body all stiffened up so I was outside looking at my other sedan and then I realized there was a spare header panel sitting on top of that one that is awesome yes but what are we Sunday it's 11 
I want to go cruising for a while. So I'll probably get back to this tonight. Muck around with it some more. Try to get the structure all together and then, I don't know. Maybe I'll just pull this body off, set it aside after, and uh, throw that T on it and see how it looks. That's really what I want to use this chassis for, so maybe this will go over there. T will just come in quick, kind of get it all mocked up, looking like something. See where we go from there. So I'm moving some stuff around. This one's needing a little bit of loving. So I figure I'll put it up there. Just strengthen the car up some more. And uh, whatever. This chassis, I know I'm not using with that car. So I pulled that T out. And I'm gonna try to get her set up on the chassis and see where everything's at. Uh, fortunately, I gotta remove a bunch of braces inside the cab. These don't seem too bad. I want to channel the body, but for now I'll just set it on top of the frame. Right now I just got to blow that brace out and then I can actually start setting the body down. Well, it's definitely an interesting setup. It's pretty tall, like really tall for my liking anyways, but it's also got a lot of coolness going on. That is, again, I'd like to channel this down some. It's got this weird pan hard that I got a ditch. I don't like it. And it's got a crazy amount of kick in the back too. I don't know, there's a lot of weirdness, but we'll work with it. We'll see what we can do here. We'll work with what we got. Um, but yeah, this is not really a project that I wanted to work on right now. But hey, who knows? Maybe I'll jam on it for a little while. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I got a lot of things going on. I want it low, but I love the look of that wheel well. Uh, torn. So torn. It looks like a truck right now. Big 4x4 truck. It's just weird. I do want to chop this one like a lot, but it's got this big monster thing going on with it. So yeah, I don't know. For now, this is all I really want to do with it, just so the body's not on the ground and I don't know, stare at it. But I don't know if I'm gonna play with this a bit or what. Got some time. You can invest a bit of time, play with it a little. But yeah. Back to this one. So, we got no inner structure. So everything's kind of foldy and messed up around in there. So, I don't know. I have to find a bits. Like, there's the chunks in the front are still there, but I'm missing everything in the back. So I got to build, like, I don't plan to channel this car, so I can kind of start building some kind of a floor structure in this thing, just to give me a, a baseline. Get everything to line up, the doors and stuff. Because they're kind of... This one's not bad. This one's pretty good. The other door is a little weird. There's some stuff going on there. It's like... It's like it's got to get pushed out or something. But it is... One of those. She's been mangled pretty good there in her life, so... Well... We'll fix her up. Right now, I'm just trying to glue her into a little bit of a solid state. Things work a little better. Yeah, well, that frame needs to get shortened up. That is so long. I'm thinking I gotta bring this back to the hairpins about to the body. Cause this is, doesn't even matter what kind of motor I put in there. Look how crazy far away that motor is. And then I usually cut this and I flip the firewall around so that I can get motors sucked back some more. So, at least that motor could go back. That would scooby ahead. 
Maybe I'll try this suicide stuff in the front, but I can put the rad in a normal place, like up there. Just gotta figure out what I have power it with. I'm looking for a weird motor. I have an old rocket, but I don't have any way to bolt anything to it. And then that thing needs to get channeled pretty hard. I love the look of the way the wheel is in the arch, but that's just way too tall of a car. But, I don't know if I'll muck around with that much. This one I'm gonna go play with this week, I think. I am gonna get this back window in. I'll probably play with this belt line, get that thing in, get this stuff tacked in so she's all solid. Um, I'm gonna trim up this back window, get it fitting in there right. And uh, yeah, like I say, try to make myself a belt line to go along here. This stuff's kinda neat but I'm thinking I'm just gonna fill it. I have the pieces that goes in there, so apparently that's super rare, but. And then like this door isn't fine. Other side, something's weird with it, so I gotta fix that. Uh, probably get about that far and then maybe I'll leave it at that for now. I'll figure out this bracing and stuff later. Uh, I kinda wanna get, do a little bit on there, get that thing a little bit done. But, uh, yeah, tomorrow's another day. Well, anyways, thanks for watching. We're going to catch you on the next one. Later.